right, I haven't, but you may have heard rumors that a polar vortex is headed to Texas later this month, but you can't believe everything you see on social media. No, no, we owe y'all much better than that. <laughs> Meteorologist Elise Smith is here to explain, Elise, what is really going on here? A bit of fact and fiction we're playing right now. Right, exactly. Our viewers, they reached out to us. They saw the clickbait, they asked, and now we have the answers. Let's go over a quick refresher of the polar vortex. As I know that's on the top of mind right now, the polar vortex is something that really intensifies this time of year every single year. It's always there. It's high up in the air in the stratosphere, the layer above the troposphere. So this thing is 10 to 30 miles above the Earth's surface, and it really intensifies into the winter because of what happens in the winter in the Arctic Circle. They lose sunlight. That creates a big temperature difference, and this really acts as a barrier. It keeps cold, bitter cold Arctic air in the Arctic Circle. Now, here's where it gets confusing sometimes because a signal that we could potentially see this very tight intense circulation break down is because of warming the opposite of what you might think we watch for something called sudden stratospheric warming which is where in where the area of the polar vortex that air starts to warm now we're not talking about warm but for that area if it starts to warm and temperatures become more uniform from the North Pole farther south into the mid latitudes that's when that tight circulation it can start to bend and that's what allows for colder air to spill in from the north it's the bending of that tight polar vortex that resides in the arctic circle and here's what we can say as of this point as of right now there are some signs that we could see some stratospheric warming that's happening either right now or potentially later this winter however that is never a guarantee that we are going to see a cold air outbreak from the polar vortex this winter additionally this is something we continue to monitor every January January and February because based on climatology that's when we can typically see the polar vortex year to year and the earliest we might mention it even the chance of it in a forecast at the earliest is two weeks out and that takes some very consistent model data and as of right now that's just not in the forecast at this point.